I'm not very free and welcome back to Sunny Bay Public Works. Yeah, this is still part of my recording speed right now. But yeah, I thought we can do yeah, a long recording spree rather than do multiple over the same day or a couple of days. Because, well, might as well just do it all at once and just kind of have a big amount of time over one period of recording. So yeah, this is the fifth and this uh, video for the ninth. And I've also recorded the fifth. So yeah, that's five videos today alone. But I need to get at least seven today. If not more, probably more. Probably closer to ten would be better. Much better. Yep, unstrap that. But it weighs 511 ton, but you know the truck can pull it, so I don't believe that for a millisecond. There we go. So that's first bucket off. I think yeah, that's an alright place for it. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know how, but the other bucket would appear to be the wrong way around. Yeah, I can't explain that, but it is. No, fan again. That ramps on that thing really are moving quite a bit, so must be fairly heavy. Yeah, 511 tons still must be alive as well. The ground would just no longer exist. Considering that isn't even the weight, like that's more than the weight of a building. Well, so, I mean, this is a big machine. It's not a 511 ton machine. No, well, you, you can see the size of it. It is massive, as you can see. So yeah, this is, I believe, at least the last of the equipment from dealership. Yeah, because the only other stuff there is the store's loader, which, well, obviously it's the store's not ours, so we aren't going to be taking that. That's going to be attached from there. Okay, then. So, I'm gonna first of all be going to our house for the first job, because well, our first job is something different. We're gonna be removing some stuff from around our house, and then ripping the ground up, which is gonna be fun. And then, yeah, we're gonna actually put some, most likely, gravel, I think, down. I don't know. However, we do have other jobs that I'm wanting to do at some point. And one of them involves basically ripping up ground in here, smoothing here out. And I've done this on my own private safety. And then taking gravel all the way around. It does extend out a little bit onto the beach. But you can just, 
if you want, take grass from either edge and kind of make it more in line, but I don't think I can be bothered with that. But anyway, we need to get truck away first, and then, yeah, we're gonna, actually, very quickly, do I have a chainsaw? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. We're gonna bring a skip truck over to go and look at that, because, well, you know, when we're getting rid of wood, I want something to put it in. And I think we have skips. Why not? And yeah, for anybody wondering what the idea for over there putting that gravel in was, it's actually a very, very simple yet useful idea of a trailer park. Because, well, obviously, I'd rather not be leaving the trailers in the main yard. Because, well, we could be keeping other stuff in here. Yeah, we also have a shed I'm wanting to build. You know, there's a lot of different kind of jobs that are actually for us instead of for my madness help. Instead of for actual clients, it's just for us some of our jobs. Like, for example, I'm wanting to build a shed and have some signs and stuff in it. Actually, I could probably put the truck in there. So yeah, we're gonna bring all our, like, skip over first. But we might actually have to bring the deer over. Although I will have to find its attachments again. Where did I stick them? I believe this should be... Oh no, they were over here, weren't they? Because I don't remember. Do we have... Uh, yeah, we do have a grab. Well, we'd have to get pot fully knocked away, probably. But maybe not. But anyway, yeah. As I said, first things first, we're going to bring a skip over. So I'll have to get up into skip truck, obviously. And then, yeah, I'll explain our plans for everything once we get there. Because there is some other stuff that I wasn't planning to do, that I am now planning to do. And, yeah, some stuff's changing around, basically. And I've gotten confirmation of land borders for us, that kind of thing. I'm just gonna extend the arm out a little bit and then because if you don't then the skip does actually collide with the back of this truck. Which is a little bit awkward, but it is what it is. So obviously we'll easily be able to fit all of the wood that we're needing to in here. But yeah, luckily our house is not very far away at all. And also our we also own the sawmill and land behind it. So we can also do some work back there if we want. Uh oh, bus. Yeah, buses don't stop for nobody. Just be warned of that. Just got a screenshot of the skip truck at work. Well, oh. going to go to work. Hoping that no cars come along here because this is kind of single lane right now. Right. Uh, I think. Hello, bus. Thank you. We'll park up just in here. Looking at my road. Because I don't want to go too close to this person's van. Yeah, they can still get stuff in the back. So, our plan is basically we are going to be. Taking away all this grass, this bush, and also, I've basically been told that I have permission to do this if I also take away this bush here. Although, I'm not sure if we're going to. Because, well, that was never formally agreed, that was just requested. So yeah, basically what we're planning to do is take a hedge from here and then kind of along here, then out to this corner, then along here, then up to what will be basically, well, 
This is kind of a shared garden, so somewhere along this wall. I've gotten permission from my neighbour, obviously. And then also we have our own little garden here. But anyway, first jobs first, we need to get the skip into place. Actually, we'll leave hazards on the right. Does help if I take off the parking brake? I've already chosen that it is going in the back area here. And we will have to block the road for a second, but it does not take long to unload a skip. And yeah, in the truck terms, I'm not sure, but I think we can probably just about slide through here. It is a little bit tight. So yeah, it can just kind of fit in the back here. So obviously, I brought my chainsaw with us. Hmm. So, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to need to put it in any cones or anything just for working here. Yeah, it's going to be extremely awkward to cut this. I don't know if I'll even manage to. But yeah, if we don't, we always can find another house to buy. My house. Well, Chainsaw doesn't seem to want to go through this. For some reason. It's just blanking me. Or then again, actually, I've been told that I do actually have permission to build along here as well. Because, well, it's my friend owns the network rail company. I mean, like this bit of track. So, I mean, I could build along here because, well, technically it does come with my house. Because, well, if you look here, we own all the light green. So, my friend owns network rail. Well, technically I do, but. I would rather have it, you know, near my house. So, anyway, we skip staying there. We have other stuff to do. Including something that we're actually going to be doing on the way back. So I want to show you guys a plan that I've gotten. This is awkward, I'm causing a hold up. Please just wait a minute, Mr. Mercedes. There we go. Right. I'm sure that they won't complain if I park along here for a second, considering this is actually another one of my companies that is building like this. Not. I say building, demolishing, but you know. No, I mean. So yeah, the plan is, we are going to be kind of, we're going to cut all this up with a tractor and tool that we're getting in a little bit. Well, I do have to get confirmation we're getting it, and then we will be bringing in a shed. Not another company will be, because it's a whole shed that's just going to be dropped off as lit hole. In fact, yeah, I think I will just time lapse the whole thing for you. Like, time lapse the whole job being done. Well, not really time lapse, but you know, like a time lapse. Good idea. So, yeah. I will see you guys when it is all completed. Actually, no, I'll just speak through it. Why not? So, I'm thinking we will. Yeah, we'll definitely have to smooth all this out. That is overly rough. And then, yeah, we're actually gonna. Basically, we're gonna paint this whole area. 
And whilst I know some of it will not be usable, quite a bit of it still will. And there is bits that I might end up having to kind of fence off here and there if it is too dangerous. So, yeah. Now we have the base. So, this is what Public Works is all about, just kind of. Well, it isn't really. This is kind of. This is a bit unrealistic doing this. But it can't be done many other ways, really. So, yeah. Now we are going to put in the shed. So you can see it is this shed just here. And yeah. It's going at a bit of an angle in this back corner here. I'm thinking. Or at least I have been told that that will work. So yeah. As you can see we have fit our shed. Well, even comes with complimentary free soil. Right, so we will quickly take that out. Hmm. That's not very useful. Okay, so then. We now have the shed. So now we can be a bit more realistic. Actually, that front is even raised very, very slightly. So yeah, I do apologise about this being kind of more of a building up a yard area. I mean, that video even. Alright, won't let me build up. So I might bring soil in here eventually, kind of dump it under the shed. However, right now, as you can see, it's still here, which is the main thing. So, you guys are probably wondering what we're actually building a shed up for. Now this is the good bit. We're going to be getting all our road signs and stuff in there, and cones. We aren't going to be keeping that many. However, we are going to be keeping some, and yeah, they're all going to be kept in some racks, which I'm getting. Which is going to be very, very useful. Also, I apologise about FPS being a bit low on this series, it's just that there is an absolute ton of stuff going on. To make all this kind of work as a public work series. So yeah, one thing that we are actually needing to do is get the, what's it called, trailer. We need to get the buckets out of it. And I'm wondering if it lowers, like the sides come out of it, do they? Hmm, don't think so. Right, I might look at actually purchasing a lot of different stuff. So if we look in here, we are needing a flatbed. But I'm not sure if we can get some sort of good flatbed out of here. Actually, I think we are going to go for another one of these. Sorry about any noise, that's my entering sister. Yeah, it's going to be any of them. Well, why not? We will have something a bit different. Yeah. Actually, Model A might be alright. So we're getting that, and also, there's one more thing we are getting before we start organising other stuff. Yeah, this is still another kind of half setting up video, half not, which I do apologise about. So I think we need the long one looking at it. I want to see 
Is it just platform or can we get other things? Actually, yeah, that's probably the best. And then, you know, actually, I think we all have it in a kind of onyx black. So I think that long is the correct length for our truck. However, if not, we will have it changed for us. Might be professionals here in their brilliant workshop that can do just about anything. So obviously, tail warps will have to come down to put pallets in, stuff like that. However, I do believe. I've been told that Iraq should be able to be lifted by hand. Oh, shove, not exactly lifted. So yeah, that was actually the correct length. I'm actually quite impressed about. So I'm not sure. No, you don't need to. Okay, so it would appear that the tail boards don't want to come down for some reason. Yep, who knows? Now, I've been told that it is lift and pushable, what we're getting. So yeah, now we need to get our rack, stuff like that. So I've been told that we should only need two as well. I don't know what the difference between these two are. Oh no, it's the British version. And yeah, we'll also have to look in. I think it's probably decorative pallets. But I don't know. No. Right, we're going to look in pallets then. Because we're going to be getting some fairly British style signs. So yeah, we can get a traffic one. Don't know, is there anything kind of. Yeah, I don't think we'll need to. Know that. I don't think we'll need. No, I don't know. No, I don't think we will. What I do know is we need some traffic cones. Preferably, like, I don't know, quite a few. And then also, we're going to get some kind of... Just some different style... Kind of... Signs. Yeah, so I think we'll have two roadworks signs. And two kind of rough road signs. Don't know if, do we need anything out here? I don't think so. So yeah, right now we're just going to really be using some kind of different style stuff. So obviously this is quite different. So I think we'll have a 20 sign, 30 sign, and also a 50 sign. Because, well, if we're doing any kind of different style of work. Like for example on dual carriageway, stuff like that. Don't think we need anything up there. Not nothing up there either. Eh, I don't think we need any of that either. Right. So that should be plenty of stuff really. Actually we could do with another rack. So, 
Well, it looks like these road signs fold up. That's helpful. That means that we will get a lot, lot, lot more kind of stuff into this rack. Don't know, do the triangle ones fold? No. No. Now, obviously, we have road signs. You know, we'll still get a fair bit more than what you would get if we didn't have ones that were flat because we can still set other signs on top of that. It's just that they might be kind of more bulky ish. Yeah, that's just gotten one rack. We might actually end up purchasing free looking at how it's going. Yeah, these are meant to be made out of what is apparently the world's lightest material that can still hold any weight. Like this racks. And obviously we also are got super strength. So yeah, we can hopefully lift this. If not, then I think we also said that they have a John Deere especially for lifting pipes and stuff here. I heard somebody mentioning about it. And I'm pretty sure that would be able to lift that. Uh, I'm going to see if I can slide two more signs into there. Because I can't slide anything else into here. So yeah. We might have to ask about that. But I don't know. I know that this is going to look stupidly overloaded, and yeah, the answer, well, reason for that is very simple. It is. No, that's not. That's not worked very well, has it? Yeah, we definitely need another one. Right, so we need to purchase one more rack. So yeah, sorry about this being uh, probably one of the more kind of boring videos. But, you know, now that we've done this, we are all fully set up and ready for pretty much anything. Also, the batteries in these things are meant to last for 100 hours, apparently, in these clone ones. However, they have supplied me with a box for it, like, to get more. So, you know, it should hopefully last long enough for us to get that middle one. So, yeah. I think... Let's see, can we... Uh, it is heavy, but we can just about lift that. Yeah, well, that's heavy. What was it? Well, it's 100 kilograms, which, you know, a bit overly, but apparently we work out quite a bit. Obviously, this one is a lot lighter. And then, yeah, we will have to strap it all down again. Because whilst we have already got the stuff inside the racks strapped down, obviously we got to have the stuff outside of the racks. I mean, like, the racks themselves aren't strapped. Yeah, this one's definitely heaviest. So yeah, I do apologise for this being such a kind of long and boring style of video. But, you know, it is not going to be like this in the next episode. I don't know 
how that clone's falling out of its strap position. It's now in it, roughly. <laughs> Sorry about that, that is worse. My sister just doing an absolutely mental sneeze. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly, cause, well, we can borrow any equipment that's got a sticker on it. And yeah, I noticed there, you know, this one does have a special sticker. Well, somebody didn't close the window. I'll need to remember to do that. As well as that, isn't like I can blame anybody else, because, well, I was the last one using it. And I do kind of remember opening the window. Okay man, now that we've gotten that done, we can return the JCB. So yeah, we're just going to put them in straps today. The rest of it won't be even done yet, like the haulage and sticking in shed. However, I am going to just chuck, not many, just a couple of straps over. And then also pull this up. Yeah, for anybody who didn't notice, there's actually strobes on the back here, which is really nice. Yeah. Hope well, guys have enjoyed this video. And yeah, goodbye.